Hey y'all, my name's Tyson. This time we're gonna do some inference locking uh, to build this roof. Okay, so hopefully um, we just did a, another video on just some basic inference locking practice. And it's actually in a file that you can find on the 3D warehouse. It's this file, uh, Skill Builder inference lock practice and it has as well uh this house is uh in it now i'm not claiming that this is a a buildable or a good roof design <laughs> it is just a good opportunity to practice inference locking so that's what we're going to do let's get to it all right so here's some of the practice examples we did last time um your file may or may not be locked. Let me unlock this just to make a copy of it, or you could simply erase this and start building directly. But this is what we're gonna try and create. And like I say, we're just gonna draw this by hand using some inference locking methods. So I am gonna copy this, and then I think it'll be helpful to lock this Let's start over here. Now, I'm gonna use the protractor tool. Now the protractor tool, when you hover on a corner, it's helpful to press the right, left, and up arrow keys. And in this case, I'm pressing the right arrow key, and I'm gonna draw a, um, a reference line at 35, 35 degrees. Uh, most of the rest of these we're going to be using 30 degrees. I just want this main roof to be a little bit higher. Now I'm going to find the midpoint, draw up, find where that ref, uh, intersects my inference line, then draw this, erase that center point, and then use push-pull. And let's go ahead and push it uh, back to this second edge over here. Now we need to resolve that there's a, a little indent here. So I'm gonna click to draw a line, hover for a moment, and that's gonna give me that purple line. Now, I could use the shift key to lock that. I could press the down arrow to lock that, or I don't actually have to lock it. I could carefully just meet this edge. I tend to lock anyway, just to be sure, and then I lock to um, to the roof. Now, let's use push-pull. Oops, that's... Pull that forward, and then do this again. Click, hover, find the parallel line, tap the arrow key or hold the shift key, and lock. And we need to draw one more edge down here, to fill that face in, but now use the push-pull tool. And this as well. And then we can clean up these edges. Finally, let's just do that in the opposite direction. Click, hover, find it, lock it, and move to that surface. Now, now that we've got this, that's all well and good, but I think let's change up the roof on this one. So I'm gonna push this back erase that edge, push this back, and erase some of that work that we just did. There's an edge here, we can erase it if you locked your base here. Um, I'd probably be useful to fill this surface in, so I'm just gonna draw over the top just to fill that surface. Now let's use the protractor tool again, and this time I want the green direction, so I can find it carefully or tap the left arrow key. And this time I am using 30 degrees. And again, this is just sort of random examples. I, I know roofing tends to be um, slopes and, and other things. Um, and I was a little bit sloppy here. Look, I, I'm not matched up to my, so I, I better undo that. I can lock that up, that direction and reference. So... Do that if you'd like, use the inference locking because that's what we're doing. All right, let's push this across. I'm gonna reference this 
point here and this time click, hover, find that direction, lock it, and then finish this out. All right, now we need to get these two roofs uh, resolved together. And what we can do is use the move tool. Now I haven't grouped all of this and it, it may be useful to do so and then work inside that group. I'm gonna continue without doing that, um, but you may wanna do that. And in the, either case, you wanna be working on your geometry, nothing is selected, and I'm gonna click on this endpoint, which allows me to move it. Now nothing is locked, but I can find the red direction, but I don't know how far to go unless I tap the right arrow key or lock with the shift arrow, uh, I'm sorry, the shift key, once I hit the shift key or the right arrow, it in, uh, invokes inference locking. And now I see I hover over the surface and it locks right to where that point lines up with that surface. And by crossing over this edge, it should automatically have broken this edge. If you didn't fill that surface in earlier, you'll probably have an open surface and you'll need to fill it back in. But we're gonna, again, use the move tool. Nothing is selected. Grab this point, tap the right arrow key to lock the red direction and hover on this roof surface. And then let's just erase that. All right, let's do it over here, this time on a diagonal, but it's gonna be the same thing we've been doing. Protractor tool, I wanna carefully be sure I'm on the diagonal. 30 degrees, center point or midpoint, and draw in the edges. Use push pull, push it back to this corner, and then we could use the line tool or the move tool. So I could start drawing from this point, lock to this edge. So I'm holding the, hovering over this edge, hold the shift key, lock to it, and then draw this out. Or we could do what we did before, use the move tool. And in this case, I'll hover on this edge, hold the shift key, but I haven't clicked on anything to move, click on this point, and then hover on this surface to line it up. Same result. Again, let's say we want 30 degrees here. Find our midpoint, draw our edges. And if you want to practice with the line tool, draw all of this in with the line tool. So I'm gonna move in the green direction, maybe tap the left arrow and by hovering on this roof, it knows exactly uh, where to meet up. And same thing here. Maybe I'll draw back, tap the left arrow key. Doesn't matter if I hover on this edge or this roof because it's gonna be the same. Click, I fill that in. Now, how are we gonna resolve these two roofs? Well, let's say, let's start a line from here. So I'm starting a line. Then I'm gonna hover on this roof surface and hold the shift key. Now I'm locked to that surface, and that means I can hover on this edge so I know where this would come down to meet this edge. Click, let go of the shift key, and then I'll just finish this out. And we should be able to erase this. There we go. Uh, finally, let's, hit, let's get to this side. So again, 30 degrees, midpoint. Eraser, push pull, and then use the move tool. Lock that and move it back. Now in this case, I not again, it's not that it's a good design, but I, I let just to make things a little bit interesting for the purpose of inference locking, we let's say we want to create this. A piece of roof that is all 
part of this one surface. So if we wanted to do that, what should we do? Well, let's take, oh, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of guidelines going on. So I'm going to delete all guidelines. So I've got on a keyboard shortcut, but you could erase them as well. All right. So let's, we've got our roof. Let me, I could do this a couple of ways. I'll just hover over this surface, hold the shift key. And then as I move up, it's going to say where that would intersect. And then down here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to start an edge, but then I'll just hover because I know it will need to be parallel to this one and then find sort of where it's going all the way through the roof, hold the shift to lock that and then come back, click. And then it's kind of just a connect the dots exercise. And as we erase that out, we should be able to clean up those surfaces. And if you hadn't already, it'd probably be useful to group this. Now from here, you could just, you know, keep on going. Uh, say, uh, I want to move this back so that it's parallel here, but I don't know quite what that would be. So I can either create a guideline or I could you know, number of things, but oops, lock it just to be sure and then hover over that edge, all sorts of stuff. Just, you know, not <laughs> that it's a good design again, but the point being, what can you do to just practice inferencing and practice, you know, creating different roof forms? That's the idea. Um, so hopefully you were able to create this or something like it. Um, so let, let us know uh, if you were successful in doing that, um, if you found out any new, any new techniques or have suggestions of your own. We'd love to have that discussion with you. Thanks as always, y'all. Uh, thanks for joining us. Do like and subscribe if you have not, and we'll see you next time.